Hi guys, in this uh, video I will show you how you can update your iPad uh, iOS to the iPad OS 13 uh, Beta 2. So this is uh, at the moment I got uh, software version 13, but it's only running uh, Beta 1. So here's how you can update it to Beta 2. It just been released a couple of days ago. So the easiest way to do on your computer on your Windows PC is to use these tools here called Tree U tools. And, um, you can download it from uh, www.treeu.com and download the tools and install it into your computer. Once you have installed into your computer, you can launch it and then simply uh, connect your iPad to the computer, to your Windows computer with this USB cable. So I'm going to push it in and uh, connect it. And once it is connected uh, on your device, make sure that YouTube's uh, Tree U tools is uh, located your phone so i'm going to turn it off and then click on again and then click on yes and here you can see it's already located my ipad device here it's got some information on the right hand side here then you want to click on flash and jb at the top right there so click on that button then in here we're going to uh, download it so here is uh, 13 Point zero beta two. So you click on the download buttons. So that's all you have to do. Very easy. The import button is optional, where you already have downloaded the IP uh, SW file somewhere on your computer. Uh, if you already done that, then you don't have to download it again. You can simply use the import button. Otherwise, if you haven't got it, click on the download button, and here it will uh, perform a download. So to your uh, device. In here it shows uh, I have two already downloaded before. As you can see, I have one uh, iPad 13.0 uh, one. So that file has been uh, downloaded before. Uh, I'm going to delete the files there. So I'm going to delete these two files to save uh, some space on my computer. And I'll go down here, it's going to download a new one. So we're just going to wait for that to finish. Once it's uh, finished downloaded, uh, we can uh, downloading. We can also um, perform an installation. It should uninstall straight away after that. that but if not, you, there's a flash button there. So once it's downloaded, we're going to click on the flash button. So we wait for the download to finish. Okay. So now the file has the file has been downloaded. I'm going to close this downloads window. Sure. So here, download it, and I can even click on here and flash it from here, or I can just do it from down here. So click on the flash button and then it's a good connection between iDevice and PC could improve your flashing success rate. So make sure that you're using a genuine uh, USB cable. So I'm going to click on flash. Make sure that you um, back up your device first before you do this. Uh, if you try to um, uh, flash it uh, with a uh, beta uh, version, yeah, sometimes it can cause issues to your device and cause you to lose data. So make sure you back up first and then click on the yes button. And here it will begin to uh, flash the device. So it's extracting the firmware. So we're just going to wait for it to flash into this uh, iPad. So um, I will leave it back on so you can see how long it will take to um, restore your iPad. So the last time I tried it, it takes quite a while uh, when it gets up to um, the installations. Uh, so here it is. So now it's going to a recovery mode. So it's a 90% restoring. And the uh, progress bar has not even begun yet. So we just wait for the progress bar to begin. On the computer it's a 20% setting no data, checking file system, unmounting file system, creating file system. So here the progress bar started. You can see that a little dots going on right here so it can take some time uh, we just don't have to wait it's 
So there it is. 23% writing file system. Now as this process may take some time, I think I better just post the videos and then resume it again once it has uh, finished. So you have to sit and watch um, this uh, circle spinning around. Now on the screen here you can see it say congratulations, uh, clean flash completed. But here on the iPad it's still going so just wait for it to finish, do not unplug the cables. And shortly you, sh you should see it say hello and then we can uh, and kind of like set up your iPad again. So set up manually and then we choose um, Wi-Fi and I'm going to put in the Wi-Fi password and then join. So I'm going to join this Wi-Fi password uh, after I put in the password. So here it is. So it's connecting and activating the iPad. So I need to uh, activate, uh, lock, unlock this uh, device. Okay, now we begin. We can begin to the next process, and um, to, you can uh, choose to restore from iCloud backup, or from iTunes backup, or move from Android, or don't transfer apps and data. I'm just gonna leave it empty, and so I just start again. I'll remove the Apple ID, so I'll set up the Apple ID later. Don't use and then tap on agreed and then tap on continued then tap on continued 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 don't share and then choose light or dark color and continued and then continue continue continued and get started and that's it so now i'm going to go into settings and check the version so still software version 13 but now it is uh, in beta 2 mode and that's it thank you for watching this uh, videos uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos